Louisville with big plays on special teams, and Memphis with a punt down at the one yard line, and then the next punt they do recover down on the, they're gonna scrimmage on the seven yard line of East Carolina oh. football. You do need to put something on his uh, on his plate there, but if you can move the ball effectively, and in this case, get into the end zone with a direct snap, you certainly do it. There's Zaccario, who second rushing touchdown of the year, and he does it out of that single wing formation. Memphis with the lead. Thump, the right thump. And now Koss is in for Cass is in for quarterback for East Carolina as they run it out to the 45-yard line with two you get at the scoreboard. They're going to hand it off out of that shotgun. No. Okay, so the ball is loose. And it's picked up by Griffin, who's advancing the ball to the 17-yard line. So the fumble on the play, 17 or 18-yard line, and that was Whitley who dropped the ball. After doing such a good job in this first half, Whitley really providing a spark. And you see number 58, Lester Lawson, kind of poked that hand in there. Ball comes out. And then it's going the other way with D.A. Griffin. Probably their best remaining defensive player. Remember losing Quentin Cotton, a potential All-American as linebacker and a big-time player. Yeah, that's, that's the correct call there. Uh, losing him. About a six on the year and his long is 40. Let's see what happens here. Memphis already leading 7-0. Yeah, and that's pretty ugly. The band is out there. Back on the second down and short. They're going to run it. He's going to get down a lot more. Look out. He could go all the way unless somebody's faster than he is. Jonathan Williams. Touchdown. 67 yards. On second down and short yardage from the 33-yard line. Sean before and set before. Look at the hole. They blast open there. A little bit of a poor angle coming up too soon by Deontay Lamar, defensive back from Memphis. Boy, and that's a stroll into the end zone. Guys on the offense. Tony. Rockets it across the middle, and it is caught by Ernest Williams in a beautiful play. Brett Tony calmly with a lot of poise. It's number 14, Ernest Williams. Have not seen a lot of Maurice Jones, Stephen Black, Carlos Singleton. We have seen Ernest Williams, though, carrying the ball, catching the football, moving the sticks. Good afternoon so far through about a quarter and a half. He's Memphis's best offensive line. I'd be happy to tell you that. Here's a play fake, and Tony keeps it, and he's over the work. They had Steele cut across the middle. Fake the handoff to Steele. Tony kept it, got nothing. Game, so he hasn't been bad. That was good. That was a chip shot, virtually a point after touchdown. And that does give Memphis a 10 to... This team has been plagued by slow starts the last couple weeks today, no exception. What do you attribute that to? Well, I, they're playing hard. I mean, I attribute it to a fumble down there on the five-yard line on a punt team. But I thought the defense came out here, and I think they've really been playing hard. And they've been playing well. We just haven't been able to convert on a couple third downs. We've gotten the ball out there to midfield. We just haven't been able to convert. But turnovers are key so far in the first half. We've started uh, defensively twice inside the 20-yard line. Memphis is under their third string quarterback. How do you exploit that defensively? Well, I mean, what they're doing, they're protecting him. They're running the ball and turning, throwing screens and not asking him to do much and play action a lot. They're doing a good job with him. All right, thanks so much, Coach Thank Holtz. Guys.